Ahmet Kessa is an Associate Professor of Political Science and International Relations at Hassan Kayonju University. Thank you very much for joining us on the news hour. How much of an impact will these restrictions actually have on exports? Uh, thank you for uh, having me, first of all. Uh, of course, uh, to answer this question, I think it is better to look at the figures, uh, first of all. And uh, before the conflict and before after the conflict, uh, the, when we look at the figures, uh, before the Israeli attack on Gaza, uh, there was always an increasing tendency uh, about the export and import uh, uh, rates uh, between Turkey and uh, Israel. And it reached, I think, uh, in 2021 at its peaks and uh, in 2022 around $9 billion per year. Uh, but uh, especially between the October and December after the Israeli attack started, uh, there is a harsh decrease, especially uh, Turkey's import decreased around 58 percent and uh, export has decreased around between uh, 20 to 30 percent uh, to Israel. Uh, so uh, even in this case, uh, in the especially uh, last quarter, uh, there is an increasing stress and tension on the government, especially coming from the bottom and public, uh, to put some sanctions uh, on the export uh, uh, products uh, to Israel, especially in uh, con concerning the uh, iron, steel, and other uh, explosives, etc. Uh, so, uh, when we look at the figures, we can say that, of course, the sanctions are only a step uh, to put pressure on the Israeli government uh, to stop the attacks on Gaza and Palestinians. Uh, but it is a further step and a good step, that, which is expected by the uh, people, especially from uh, all over the world. So, uh, as the Israeli attacks uh, are ongoing, we can expect that the pressure uh, on the economic sanctions will be increased as well. So uh, that's why it may have a limited impact at the beginning, but when it uh, increased, uh, with, uh, which covers uh, all the food and other materials as well, uh, the stress on the Israeli government uh, may increase as well. Do you think we're likely to see other countries follow Turkey's lead? Because clearly there is an economic um, issue for both sides. If these sanctions are put in place further? Uh, I think uh, when the uh, conflict and attacks uh, prolonged, we can expect similar uh, sanctions implemented, especially by the Gulf countries and other uh, Islamic and Arab countries against Israel, uh, especially if they start implementing sanctions uh, concerning oil products. This will be more impactful than other products because uh, Israel highly needs these kind of uh, products uh, to use in every kind of uh, phase of the conflict and also the explosives. I think uh, we can expect, uh, starting from some uh, European countries like Spain, uh, maybe uh, Portuguese, uh, Ireland, uh, and other European countries may follow them. Uh, I think uh, that some of the Islamic countries and Gulf countries may follow Turkey as well. All right, uh, Ahmet Kessa joining us from Ankara. Thank you for that. Thank you very much. Take care. Bye.